is 10 a.m. in the Calico Critter world, and they are at the library right now, and they are going to be reading Little Red Riding Hood. Here's everybody in the library. There. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived with her mommy in a cottage on the edge of a big forest. Whenever the little girl went outside to play, she wore a beautiful red cloak that her grandma had made for her. It had a big red hood, so everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mommy asked her to take a basket of food to Grandma. Grandma isn't feeling well, Mommy explained, and I'm sure she'd love to see you. Grandma lived on the other side of the forest, so Mommy drew a map on a piece of paper so that Little Red Riding Hood couldn't, wouldn't get lost. That And remember, don't talk to any strangers along the way, said Mommy, helping Little Red Riding Hood into her cloak. Little Red Riding Hood took the basket of food and skipped into the forest. On the way, Little Red Riding Hood saw some beautiful blue flowers. Grandma might like these, she thought, as she bent down to pick a handful of flowers. She didn't realize someone else was in the forest. Hello, little girl said a deep, growly voice. Little Red Riding Hood jumped with fright. A big wolf appeared out from behind one of the trees. Oh, hello. Oh, I just messed up on that part. Oh, hello, replied, the, replied Little Red Riding Hood, smiling back at the wolf. She had already forgotten her mommy's warning. Where are you going? growled the wolf. I'm visiting my sick grandma who lives on the other side of the forest, Little Red Riding Hood explained. Ah, what kind of girl you are, smiled the wolf, showing off his rose, rose sharp, razor sharp teeth. Just then, the wolf's tummy gave a loud grumbly growl, grumble. What was that? asked Little Red Riding Hood. Just some thunder over the hills, said the sneaky, hungry wolf as he ran away as fast as he could So, to Grandma's cottage. The hungry wolf appeared through Grandma's window and saw the old lady in bed. With a loud howl, the wolf dashed into the cottage and gobbled up Grandma in one large gulp. It's okay, it's okay. I like that part. Oh, well, um, if you don't like it, then you can go back with your mommy, okay? Then the wolf put on Grandma's spare, spare nightcap and glasses, cla clavered into her bed, and pulled the quilt up to his chin. Now all he had to do was wait for Little Red Riding Hood to arrive. When Little Red Riding Hood reached the cottage, she was surprised to find out the front door wide open. Grandma, she called. Are you there? I'm in the bedroom, replied the wolf in a strange wobbly voice. Little Red Riding Hood went into the bedroom and gasped in surprise when she saw her grandma she looked sort of different. Grandma must be very sick, thought Little Red Riding Hood. I hope it isn't catching. What big eyes you have, Grandma, she said as she went over to the bed. All the better for seeing you with, the wolf replied in a, the same wobbly voice. Grandma, what big ears you have! Little Red Riding Hood added, m moving closer. All the better for hearing you with, said the wolf with a toothy grin. Mm, my, what big teeth you have, Grandma, 
strutter, Little Red Riding Hood. All the better for eating you with. Ah! Little Red Riding Hood screamed and tried to run away, but the hungry wolf was too fast. He leaped out of bed. The hungry wolf was too fast. And he, oh, sorry. He leaped out of bed and gobbled her up in a single greedy gulp. Greedy gulp. A passing woodcutter heard Little Red Riding Hood scream and ran into the cottage. When he saw the wolf's enormous belly, he guessed what had happened. He picked up the wolf and shook him hard. Little Red Riding Hood and Gretel flew out of the wolf's mouth. Luckily, they were, weren't hurt, but they were very cross. Grandma Little Red Riding Hood and the woodcutter chased the wolf into the forest and over the hill. The embarrassed wolf never came back, and Little Red Riding Hood never spoke to strangers again. The end. All right, children, what did you think of that book? Oh, I'm sorry, baby bunny, but it's just a fairy tale. Uh-oh. I like that book. I like all books. Reading is fun. Um, my favorite part, though, is at the end. I, I'm glad that that wolf, they got rid of that wolf. He's bad. What if that wolf was real? Uh, hopefully he wouldn't come to... Our village critter, of Calico. Critter Wolf would be what I would call our town. Don't you think that's a good name? Critterwood? Mm-hmm. So for story time tomorrow, we're going to read The Three Pigs. And that story also features a wolf, which, you know, it might actually be the same wolf. What do you kids think? Yeah. Is it scary? Yeah, well... He is a big bad wolf. Ah, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. So we'll scared. see you guys tomorrow at reading time, okay? Do I have to okay. come? I don't want to come. It's scary. Oh. Come back. Um, I hope you come back to the um, third episode of Critter Bill. I mean, Crit Critter um, Network.